Hi everybody and welcome to Cooking with Cricket. I have been wanting one of these spiral slicers for a long time and I finally got me one thanks to Heather from the Needy Homesteader who told me to go check out Walmart. They had it and it was a whole lot cheaper than the stuff online. So I got the Vegetti Pro and so in the little recipe book I, I'm doing a breakfast supper tonight. So, I want to make cash browns, so I thought I'd bring you along for the first time me using it. And in the book it didn't say if it wanted a thin spiral or a thick spiral. So I've got the thin spiral up here first. And I got the suction cups on. And I did peel my potatoes. So let's see. Let's see, we stick it in there. And I guess we slide it and it falls off. <laughs> okay, let's put it right up here. I guess you slide it. There we go. Now, it's not sliding. There we go. Well, now that's cool. <laughs> Be some long, stringy ash browns. Look at that. Look. Oh my goodness. That's that's a long hash brown. I've peeled three really small potatoes, and it's just going to be me and Ricky eating tonight. So I'll go ahead and cut up all three. That was pretty cool. Do y'all have one of these? How do you like them? Let me know. Now this will be, I'm sure, more hash browns than we can eat. But I'm going to go ahead and set these in cold water until I get ready to cook them. And, um, I'm not going to do onion in these, but if you want onion, it said to thinly slice some onion, but not for my breakfast supper. I don't want onion. I really got this for zucchini. I cannot wait to make some of the recipes I've been seeing Booger and Tabe and all doing. And, uh, Valerie Reese. Look at that. So cool. Alright, yeah, I'm cooking these on my uh, grill pan, and so excuse the sun spots coming in. But I took my potatoes, and I chopped them up a little bit with some scissors. I added a little bit of olive oil to coat. I put salt, pepper, some of the uh, adobo seasoning, and some parsley, and mixed it up. So, now I'm going to cut my grill. The instructions say on high to get it started. And then I'm going to add a little bit of butter and a little bit of oil. I'm going to make three piles of hash browns. So I'm going to add about a tablespoon of butter. And I'm going to add just a little bit of vegetable oil to it too so the butter don't burn. And then I'll spread it out. About a tablespoon of oil too. Okay, I think that that's hot. So, now I'm going to do some piles. Now, you can add onion and peppers to this. But I just wanted to try it out. Just straight potatoes. And now it says to lower the heat to medium and cover and cook it for about 10 minutes or until the bottom is crispy. I don't have a lid for this, so that will be my lid. And I'll bring you back in about 10 minutes or when it looks like it's getting crispy. All right, mine's actually been 15 minutes. Now, this is going to be fun trying to flip all this. 
air did pretty good. Now I'm going to scoop a little bit more butter on the top of it. Let it sink down in there to help that brown where to cover it until this layer gets brown and crispy and that should take about another 10 minutes all right let me check them yep they're starting to brown and crisp up so now what we're to do we're supposed to remove the lid and let them cook like this for another 10 minutes all right let me see if i've mastered hash browns Yep, I think I've mastered hash browns. <laughs> My kids will be so happy. They're crispy on the outside and I like them tender on the inside. Very good. So, so far I'm loving my um, vegetti thing. So, thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Comment, I love hearing from you. Do you have one of these gadgets and what all do you make? And subscribe if you haven't already. And also hit the notifications so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching, y'all. Bye.